We are here at the start of the Great Glen Way and um, we've got a total distance of 73 to 79 miles to cover all the way from Fort William all the way up to Inverness. Um, today we are going to cover around 12 miles to Gairlocky. Um, the reason for that is because we climbed Ben Nevis yesterday and so Ooh. yeah we're going to take it easy to start with because we've got our big bags on um, and we just want to enjoy day one. We are three and a half miles in and we have made it to Core Pack um, where we meet the Caledonian Canal. Been to the canal office to collect the key uh, for the Trailblazer Wild Campsites. Um, we have read that there's some facilities, um, although we've also read and heard some YouTube clips saying that some are out of order. So uh, it's £10 per person for a key. Um, so hopefully we'll find something along the way. Lunch time! It's um, about half past one and we've done just over seven miles and um, we're just stopping, having some lunch, got some wraps. Um, I've got a little tuna pot, um, a John West spreadable tuna, if you can see that, and Kevin's got peanut butter. After we've had lunch, we're gonna get off walking again and make it to Gairlocky, which is around four ish miles, um, and then see how we feel there. Um, we might pitch camp there or we'll continue on, we'll see how we feel. Someone looks a little tired. Hey, Fee and Kay. Oh, tired. How's your first day? Tired. Sore feet from Ben Nevis. Yeah, it was a good day though. <laughs> What's on the menu today? We've got mashed potato and, and some chorizo that just cut into little pieces, minus the grass. Um, I'm just going to mix that into the mash. And Kevin's got sausage. Yum. Good dinner. And Kevin's in a paddy because he's fighting off all the midges. They are loving me for some reason tonight. I've got on my waterproof trousers, I've got my crab jacket on just to stop them from getting at me. He can't put his head net on because he wants to eat and drink. I want to have my cappuccino. So we're going to have these and then uh, get back in our tent and stay in the tent. <laughs> So today we went from Fort William all the way up to Gairlocky where we're staying tonight just by the lock and tomorrow we are going all the way up the side of Loch Lochy past Langan uh, we're going to try and make it to Invergarry and it'll be 16-17 miles today we did over 11 just under 12 <laughs> between 11 and 12 um, and yeah I think we we're a bit sore from Ben Nevis yesterday and we're not used to carrying our heavy packs so we're calling it quits for today 
and um, having a rest, going to bed early tonight and bright and early tomorrow. It's day two of our Great Glen adventure. We are leaving the Caledonian Canal for now. Uh, I'm walking alongside Loch Lochy for most of the day. Uh, today we're aiming to do about 16 to 17 miles to get to Invergarry. Invergarry. Or close to. Or close to. That's where we want to pitch our tent uh, for tonight. Uh, yeah, the weather's not looking great today. I mean, we had it yesterday. We had the sun. Uh, now it, it's forecast to rain. So we're going to push on. Hopefully, it won't rain till later on this afternoon until we look to pitch our tent. So, right, we better get on. It's now about 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. Um, let's get going, eh? Yeah. needed and um, we set off and then I was like nope we need breakfast we need fuel and um, we've just filtered our water as well so we left the locks because it was shut um, and the uh, chaps hadn't arrived by the time we set off so we knew that we would be walking alongside the water today so we've just filtered uh, four bottles so we should be good for the rest of the day. It's been raining for most of the morning and um, we had beautiful views of the lock for a couple of miles and then we've been walking through the forest for the rest of it and um, we got a little bit wet as you can see um, but it seems to be easing off a little bit now so hopefully uh, it'll give us a little bit of respite for a few hours. So we've reached Nagan Lock, our, our decision point when we go over to for Gary uh, it's been made. What we're going to do, we're going to carry on down to Lagging the Locks and then we're going to carry on along beside the Great Glen Way. We're thinking about going up to Invergarry, get a pub lunch, but we're feeling pretty good. Uh, the weather's not that bad, so we're going to move on through Lagging and then try and find a camp spot in the next uh, five, five to six miles. miles. Yeah. yeah. So let's go. sit here for a few more minutes I think and then maybe do five-ish miles to get to it's a trailblazer site that we're aiming for because we've got the key and um, so we're going to take advantage of that and it's just alongside in the Gary so that'll take us to about 17 miles today <laughs> We have a lakeside view, a lockside view even. Pretty good, eh? So today we have come all the way from Gaelucky and we've travelled all the way up along the lock to Lagan, which is around 12 miles. And then we have come up along the east side of Loch Oich, um, and we've stopped just after 17 miles, just across from Invergarry. Um, we've stopped at one of these trailblazer sites, so while camping, but um, there's designated fire pit areas. Um, nice flat ground for camping and also two compostable toilets and one scary looking building that we think is home to lots of bats. 
Um, but we're by ourselves, nobody else is camping here tonight, but it's a nice big sort of um, area and it's right by the lock so you can filter water or dip your toes in if you want. And um, yeah, we're gonna head off to bed soon. Yeah, um, it's eight o'clock, isn't it? So yeah, rock and roll. We're pretty, <laughs> pretty tired now, so yeah, head to bed. Yeah, get up early tomorrow and do the same again tomorrow. Yeah, about 17 miles again tomorrow, isn't it? Ish. Yeah, so we want to get past in the Morriston tomorrow. We pass halfway tomorrow. Halfway is for Augustus along the whole Great Glen Way. So we'll be stopping there for some lunch, I think. There's, yeah. it'll, there'll definitely be a cafe or a pub or something open. Oh, don't, I, don't say no, that no, I, after our I, lagging. I've read that there's lots of, lots of uh, options, so... Fingers crossed, I've got my hopes high. I just don't want you to be as disappointed as you were with like, when we got to Loch Lagan. Oh no, we'd, we'd put all of our hopes on the cafe being open so we could have a nice cold drink and a little sandwich or something and it just was short. Um, so we dragged our feet a little bit just to find the perfect lunch spot which you know never exists when you're looking for one. <laughs> day three of our Great Glenway walk and uh, today we pass halfway which will be at Fort Augustus so we're aiming to get there around lunchtime which will be good timing because we're planning to do this walk in five days um, we stayed at a trailblazer last night um, it did rain through the night and some spooky noises um, but it was all good and uh, we had a bit of a midge fest this morning but we're away from that now we are all kitted out in rain gear because it was raining when we got up and got dressed but it doesn't seem so bad now it seems to have um, stopped raining but it's forecast to rain for the rest of the day so we're going to stay in our kit for a little bit longer and just see because any minute it might just start raining again um, for the whole day we're looking to get to, or well, just past Inver-Morriston um, and then that puts us in good stead for our final two days. Let's go! So we've just come to the bridge of Week. Um, it's a swing bridge as you can see. And what we're liking so far about the trail is that it's all really well signposted so every lock you've got one of these either wooden or stone features and the route is also signposted with the blue thistle but also we're following cycle path 78 so super easy to follow no map needed nope no map needed not so far anyway <laughs> two choices we take the high level or the low level um, we've decided we're going to take the high level because we're a suck of a punishment <laughs> we walked the wrong way we peaked too early i think we've got probably another 500 meters till we take the great glen way high route uh we should have really seen what that said not great glen way high route ah oh, katie's not happy okay because that was steep wasn't it <laughs> So this is the correct route for the Great Glen High Route. Yeah, so just ignore what we did before. Um, yeah, if it's not a blue sign, don't follow it. <laughs> we should have known, <laughs> God. And um, so we're going up here. 
So we climbed all the way up from the forest floor, all the way up to this viewpoint. It was um, short and sharp, short, sharp and steep, that's the one. Um, it's a bit of a, a bit sweaty, but well worth it. And we're now getting covered in midges, so, so we're not gonna to stand go. for long. <laughs> going down and these are feeling it a little bit now aren't they? Yeah, we're both a bit grumpy. <laughs> so we took the high route from Fort Augustus following the high route all the way across. It's ahead of a rise, it's up and down. Uh, if you follow the low route I guess you'll get a easier time of it but you do get good views on the high route. Word of warning, if the midges are out in force they're gonna be out in force there. If there's no wind like we've just experienced the clouds of them, absolute clouds of midges. So we are in Invermoriston and we've just had a coke at the Arms, Arms Hotel, yeah, which has sorted us out. And now we're gonna get off and find somewhere to camp. It's one hell of a climb out of Invermoriston, straight up and we're still going. Ooh. But lovely views. Yes. Our home for the night. <coughs> Found a lovely area. Sorry, the uh, the midges are getting bad now. But yeah, it's a nice peaceful area on the high route. Uh, so we shouldn't have too much to do uh, tomorrow. So we've done 18 miles today to get here uh, to find this lovely spot. And I think uh, it was well worth it. Right, I better go because the midges are killing me. So today we have come from just opposite Invergiri and we've come all the way up along the canal to Loch Ness to just outside of in Morriston, you can see just over 17 miles. Although we did sort of do a few squiggles, so sat and had a drink at the pub, smell 16. And where's Fort Augustus? Oh, down there, Fort Augustus, nine miles. <laughs> um, so oh, it's been a, a long day today. Tomorrow, we need to get uh, well, we need to eat into our last day. So if we can do kind of 16 miles, that then leaves just under 16 miles for our last day. So the more we eat away at it, the easier the last day becomes. Um, I'm not going to even try and pronounce the place that we'll be passing tomorrow, but it, it begins with drum. Um, we'll have to learn overnight how to pronounce that properly. Yeah, although we are being attacked by midges on top of our tent. And I don't know if you can see them. We have got absolutely loads trying to get into our tent at the moment. Absolutely loads. Yeah. There's going to be lots of funky noises, no doubt, during the night. So, something else to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So, we're going to get some sleep, go to bed. Early start tomorrow. Night. It's day four of our Great Glen Way adventure. Uh, we just packed up from our wild camp. Uh, we had a peaceful night's sleep last night, apart from the midges, it was great. So we got about 16 miles today to get to our next wild campsite. We're passing through a little town called Drum Nadrica. I hope I'm saying that right. So we might stop there for some cake and then we'll move on to our wild campsite. Well, we better get moving. The weather isn't great today. It's supposed to be raining all, all day today. So I don't know if we're gonna get any good views on the high route which we chose uh, yesterday, which we're on at the moment. So we'll see. Let's go. After leaving camp this morning, within a mile, we have reached the beautiful view catcher. Um, and although it's been a little bit drizzly, um, it, the, the views are just beautiful, even with the rolling clouds coming in. Just look at that.
but we're getting a little bit cold now because we've been here a while so we're gonna get going So we've done another climb, a bit of a steep climb um, and although it's not the same views as yesterday it's still absolutely stunning. Yeah the immediate landscape is still amazing with all the heather and that. Uh, we just climbed out of a, a forest out of the clouds haven't we behind yeah. us. Um, and I don't uh, think the video and the photos do it justice, just the colour of the green and the purple from the heather and just the clouds sweeping over. It is beautiful. Let's see what else is out there, eh? Yeah, hopefully we're going down though. <laughs> climbed to 470 meters um, as opposed to the low route which is 350 meters so you might as well just take the high route um, we're here and we've got seven miles to the town let's go As you can see, we're not in our tent. We caved and we ended up getting a hotel, which is lovely actually, I have to admit. Washing my hair and having a shower. It's not that we really needed it, but it's our holiday as well. We are on our final day of our Great Glenway adventure and we have 19 miles to get to Inverness. We've just come out of the town of Drumnadrashaid. <laughs> we'll get it right one day. And we've been road walking. Although there's a pavement, it's a very quick road. We've moved quite quickly, haven't we, along that. But now we are going up. We've got a big ascent today. The ascent to get to the highest point on the trail. So just over 300 meters or so maybe. And hopefully we'll get some views of the lock, but it is cloudy. It's a little bit drizzly at the moment, but it's not quite waterproof weather just yet. So fingers crossed it holds out for us today on our last day. So we have to climb this now. Big ascent now. Whoo, it's gonna be sweaty work. Yeah. Let's go, eh? all the way to Inverness we should be getting there for about five o'clock let's go so we've covered 15 and a half miles and we can now actually see Inverness look She's there, right there. <laughs> you can touch her. But we're not there just yet. We've got another three and a half miles approximately to get to the finish line. Making good progress.
So we've done it. That is the end of our Great Glen Way adventure. What an amazing adventure we've had. It is, yeah. We've walked alongside the Caledonian Canal, alongside many locks. We've seen fantastic views. It's been a really, really great walk. So we better go in a minute because it's, start, it's about to rain. So if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification button for when we release new videos. Also, if you want like a full itinerary and a full uh, breakdown of the Great Glenway adventure that we've just had, please go and check out gettoit.com. Uh, the link will be down in the description below. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.